Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday. I hope that you guys are having a great weekend. So today's video is going to be all about my project pan for 2021. If you guys missed it, I just uploaded my last project pan update for 2020 about a week ago. So I'll link it in the description box below, but I was able to use up a lot of makeup. So I was pretty proud of myself. I told you guys in that video, I wasn't sure what I was going to do for my project pan for this year, but I think I wanted to, or I thought I wanted to focus on products that were a little bit harder to use up. So today, I have eight products to share with you guys. I might add more products in when I do my check-ins and I usually do a check-in every three months. But for now, I chose eight products in my collection. I chose them for very specific reasons. So I'm excited to share them with you guys. I love doing project pans and a lot of you guys told me you're actually on a no buy this year. And I think that's great. I think it is amazing to be able to use up what you have. And if you are looking for a challenge or a fun way to really focus on your collection, I definitely recommend doing a project pan. I don't know, I just feel like there's something fun about challenging yourself to use up specific products in your collection. And again, I always say this, but it just reminds me how long it takes to use up makeup. And that is the primary reason I choose to do it because if I realize that it's going to take me an entire year to use up a bronzer, I'm not going to go out and buy 10 different bronzers this year. So let's jump into it and I will talk about the products that I am hoping to either hit pan on or use up this year. Let's start with foundation. So I tend to use the same foundations over and over. I get on a kick where I really love a certain formula and that's the only one I'll use and eventually I end up using it up but because of that I have a few in my collection that I used to love that I haven't reached for in a while so I'm adding two of them into my project pan it will be a fun way for me to switch up my base and hopefully use these products up before they go bad so the first one is the bite beauty change maker supercharged micellar foundation so I have the shade l30 I put a little mark on the back so I can know where I'm at when I start using this I don't think I'll have an issue using this up because I have about half of this product left I really like the texture of this foundation. I feel like it's just kind of gotten forgotten or overlooked because I tend to reach for other formulas over this one. Part of the reason why I don't use it as much is because it is a little bit dark for me. So I think I'll either mix this in with a foundation that's a little bit too light for me or maybe use it during the spring and the summertime, but I really enjoy it. I miss using it. So I think this will be a good motivation for me to focus on it. I also chose the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. So this is getting a little bit old. I think the foundation itself is still perfectly good. The formula looks great. It hasn't really separated. Again, I have about half of this product left and I used to love this formula. I would actually mix it with my Fenty foundation and they are complete opposites. The Fenty foundation is very matte and full coverage and the coverage on this one is maybe a little bit more medium, but it's definitely a hydrating foundation. I've really been using the ColourPop hydrating foundation nonstop since they released it. So I want to try this one out again and put it back into my collection and see if I can get some use out of it. And either I'll use it on its own or I'll mix it with other foundations, but I really, really loved this one. It's just been a while since I've used it. So I have the shade 1.05, which I think should match me pretty well. And I don't know, over 2020, I just kind of fell in love with hydrating formulas more than super intense matte formulas. So I might even like this one on its own. I am adding in the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water as well. So again, well, no, I have like three fourths of this product left. The reason why I'm putting this in my project pan is because this is a product that makes makes a difference when I actually use it. And I don't tend to use a lot of like priming sprays or setting sprays on a regular basis, but when I use them, I always enjoy them. I have gone through this product in the past, so I don't think that will be an issue, but I think just consciously using it and putting it in my project pan and making an effort to incorporate it into my makeup routine will be so nice because I do love the way that this makes my skin look and my makeup always applies so beautifully on top. So these are three complexion products I'll be focusing on. Let me move on on to cheek products. So in 2020, I put the Becca highlighter in the shade Champagne Pop in my project pan, and I can't believe it, but I was actually able to hit pan on it. I don't think I've ever hit pan on a highlighter or a blush. I have hit pan on bronzers and used them up because those are a little bit easier for me, but after the success of hitting pan on a highlighter, I decided to include a blush in this year's project pan. I'm so light-handed when it comes to blush, so I really rarely ever make a dent in any of my favorite blushes. This one is actually new to me. So this one might be a little bit of a stretch. It is the ColourPop blush in the shade Brute Flute. So I wanted to put this in my project pan so I make more of an effort to incorporate it into my makeup routine because I love how it looks on the skin. And I feel like this is a good segue into cream blushes. I told you guys recently that I was going to stop buying cream blushes because I didn't like them, but I feel like my makeup preferences are slowly shifting. I definitely still prefer powder blush over cream blush, but 
I think in 2020, I just went a lot lighter on my makeup. And today I'm wearing more of a full coverage base. I typically do when I film videos, but sometimes for everyday wear, I'll just throw on a concealer and cream blush lays so beautifully on top of more of a light coverage base. So I am excited to maybe try out some cream blushes this year, even though I just said I wasn't going to buy any more of them. And I don't want to go crazy with them. I might try like a couple of formulas, but in the meantime, I feel like this will just be a good option because it is more of like a cream to powder formula. Also in the past, I think I've tried some of their matte blushes. This one is actually a pearlized finish, so it has a little bit of like a natural sheen and it just looks so healthy on the skin. I also put this in my project pan because I wanted to give myself a challenge, see if I could actually hit pan on a blush because cheek products are just very, very hard for me to get through, especially highlighters and blushes. So I think it will be interesting to see how long it takes to actually hit pan on this. I decided to put a bronzer in my project pan as well. I've had the e.l.f. primer infused bronzer in my project pan for I think the last two years and it took me a long time to get through that and I think because of that I haven't purchased quite as many bronzers as I have in the past and I've just really narrowed in on like the specific bronzers and formulas that I love which has been good but the one I decided to put in my project pan this year is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bronzer. I do use this bronzer pretty regularly so if I'm going to hit pan on any of the bronzers in my collection it's probably going to be this one anyway, but again, I'm just curious to see how long it's going to take to hit pan on or use up completely. I started using this in 2020, so if I do use it up by the end of 2021, this will really have lasted me like two full years. Some bronzers are a little bit easier to get through if they're very light and powdery, but I feel like this is a little bit more of like a dense formula, so we'll see. I've, I've made some good progress on it, but I'm definitely not close to hitting pan on it, so hopefully by the end of the year, I will be able to hit pan on this. So to finish up, I actually have three powders. Now I did already hit pan on all three of these powders, but I still want to use them up completely. Sometimes once I hit pan on something, I feel like the challenge is maybe gone or I'm a little bit sick of the product. So I decide to take it out of my collection or out of my project pan, but I still really like all three of these formulas. So I want to make sure I use them up completely before I add new powder to my collection. At the beginning of 2020, I had a lot of powder that was open and powder does typically last for a while, a lot longer than cream products, but it doesn't last forever. And honestly, I enjoy a lot of the formulas that I have. I just need to focus on actually using them up. So two of these were actually in my project pan for 2020, and I'm going to continue using them into 2021. So the first one is the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Powder. This is one that I typically use to set my foundation into place. I'll just use it all over. It's not necessarily my go-to formula, but I do really like it. And I've hit pretty good pan on this, but I can still get quite a bit of use out of it. So I want to finish it up completely. I'm hoping to use this one up completely by my three month update. The other one is the Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix Powder Foundation. So I have the shade 20YW, which is just a little bit light for me, but I feel like I can make it work during the winter time. So I hit the like teeniest, tiniest, smallest pan on this product. I want to use this up completely before I purchase a new powder foundation. I'm kind of into like powder foundation right now instead of foundation for everyday wear. And I really like this formula and there are a few that are on my wish list, but instead of running out and buying them, I want to continue to use this one up completely. Again, I think I might be able to use this one up by the time I do my three month update. And then by then it'll be like the end of March, the Sephora VIB sale will be here. So I might purchase the Fenty powder foundation then. I just feel like I don't need to buy that one right now. I'm really enjoying this one. And if I buy a new powder, I feel like I'll just kind of you know, put this one in the back of a drawer. So I want to use it while I do still really enjoy it. The last product is something that I actually already found a good alternative for. So that's why I haven't been using it a whole lot, but I do still like it. And again, I spent my money on this, so I want to make sure I get good use out of it. It is the ambient lighting powder in the shade Diffused Light. Oh, from Hourglass. So this year I tried the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, which is a loose powder, so it's definitely not the same, but I feel like it gives a very similar effect to the skin, and I actually like it better because it's really finely milled, it just looks so soft and pretty. So I've been using that one for the same purpose that I would use this one, which is typically under my eyes or to diffuse out my cheek products. But because I love that one so much, I haven't been using this one, so I just wanna make an effort to 
hopefully use it up by the end of the year. It's very hard to use up Hourglass products because they're so firmly pressed. So I feel like you could be very heavy handed and you rarely hit pan on them. So I can't believe I actually even hit pan on this. We'll see if I can actually use it up by the end of the year, but I wanna use the majority of the product if at all possible because I do like it. And again, I have it in my collection, so I might as well. So those are all of the products in my project pan for 2021. I think it's going to take me pretty much all year to use these products up. The only one that I'm hoping to have used up completely by the time I do my first update is this powder from Physicians Formula, just because I feel like I can do it, but everything else will probably be very slow progress. I might add in some new products when I do my next update. So I'll keep you guys posted. I would love to know if you're doing a project pan, which products you're focusing on. Let me know. Thanks again for watching today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new one. Bye.